What is up guys, it's Mikey Tamemo here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to my third and final aside from the hardcore run my Gothic 3 playthrough, the playthrough of Beliar, also known as the Hashishin. In this episode, I think it was 11 part 2, we will continue where we left off in part 1 when it comes to exploring and completing quests within Ben Sala. So let's wait for the loading screen and then we're gonna continue. I wanted to do Gothic 4 but um you know Gothic 3 Satan God is currently beat us. Uh, well at least um I hate these beasts uh, Well what? At least when it comes to uh, uh the play for Venus. This was to be expected. May you wither in the sun. Well, you know, my uh, third, my second playthrough of, of Sacred Gods has been beaten. And it's not 100% beat it because of the fact that I could not find a. You're creeping around like a thief. Shut up, man. Because I could not find a. Skill trainers when it comes to improve armor. Well, improve the rope, basically. Heavy armor. Um, forge pure or weapons as well as the most important one, mana regeneration fire mage, which I needed mana regeneration for but uh, my original intent was to continue and go to gothic 4 but of course, just like gothic 1, just like gothic 2 and just like gothic 3 and the forsaken gods every single gothic game has their issues and the problem is I currently use dual screen when it comes to recording one screen where my OBS is on so I know that it's either recording or not as well as the fact that my main screen which is the one that is being recorded is on my primary screen, uh, on my primary screen but no matter what I do Gothic 4 boots on the secondary screen and which you'll find dandy but uh, the game is really buggy um, if I want to get it to my main screen due to OBS it will shut itself back to the secondary screen even though that this screen which is currently being recorded is my main screen is my priority screen every other game on Steam opens on this screen but only Gothic 4 opens on the other one and aside from that the once I have the game booted and I let's say you know I play in full screen which I do with most of my games basically the mouse doesn't work so I'm really frustrated and uh, I'm gonna say F no to Gothic 4 for now because I'm honestly I was high in well I was not so happy when I could not finish my character builds due to the lack of guides and the lack of you know to find specific trainers in specific areas for specific skills as you guys know once I beat the game whether I have to use cheats or not my character always have a certain build in 
mind, you know, the server in the Linux has to have the server in the Linux full build that was not possible. I eventually might get it still, because it's only about seven skills that I cannot get, Orc Slayer, uh, Forge, uh, Forge or Weapons, Heavy Armor Improvement, Improved Rope Armor, also known as Light Armor, F Fire Mage and Fire Rain, and Mana Regeneration. But um, in order to get Fire Mage, I need Mana Regeneration, and in order to get Fire Rain, I need to be able to get Fire Mage, and thus I still need Mana Regeneration. So if you guys know in Forsaken Gods where to find a trainer for Mana Regeneration, let me know. But uh, the game Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods is just terrible, really, really terrible, and I'm not in the mood right now to fix the issues that Gothic, the Gothic 4 has, you know, shown itself, you know, because every single Gothic game needs patches, needs fixes and whatnot in order to get it fixed, and I'm sick and tired of it. And I'm literally on the point on um, where I say, you know, fuck Joe Productions, fuck their money-grabbing, scheming business, because that's only what they do. The games are all poorly written. Um, well, Gothic 1 and Gothic 2 were good of its time, but on modern day PCs, it's not playable. Unless you download f patches, fixes, and whatnot, which is done by the community and not by Joe Productions. But, uh, you know, I'm getting sick and tired of the lack of fixing bugs and fixing certain things that makes the game a lot more better and since there is basically no one that's gonna play Forsaken Gods and make an accurate um, you know list when it comes to skill trainers I'm gonna do it myself however the problem is with Forsaken Gods due to the Enchanted Edition some quests are removed other quests are inaccurate or corrupted in a way and others are tool to a towards a specific side you know so let's say if you go and join Gorn's side you cannot learn anything from anyone basically not always the case but most majority you cannot get you know learning capabilities from Forest's people whether it's his warriors whether it's his smiths whether it's its mages doesn't really matter and it's really really frustrating there are no guides on that whatsoever so I'm gonna make one myself I'm gonna write an entire review of Gothic 1, Gothic 2, Gothic 3, Gothic 4 of every game that I basically beat so that I'm sure that people you know will be able to avoid the stress that I had to go through when it comes to my playthrough of Venus. However, in order to make that character trainer lists, I need to play the first run Adonis and I need to play the third run Baliar. But for Baliar I need to finish this one and for Adonis I need to do commentary just like this, you know in Forsaken Gods but I'm not really really looking forward to play the game and you could say you know don't play the game but that's not how it works I could skip the game but at some point I have to beat the game and apparently when it comes to Gothic 4 it is quite well known for seven years now that if you have dual screen and you want to play Gothic for Arcania the game 1 boots on the wrong, p on the wrong screen even though, you know, it doesn't really matter whether I have this screen as a primary screen or my secondary screen as a primary screen, it will keep opening up on the second screen, um, which is quite frustrating. Full screen, you know, doesn't work, mouse doesn't work in the menus whatsoever, let alone in the game itself. I do not know that part because of the fact I did not boot the game. But uh, the only way that I could record it on this screen is by playing on windowed mode and I despise windowed mode due to the borders in 
your you know whether it's on the top or on the bottom or on the side I despise borders of any kind so I prefer to play for games on full screen only but of course you know the menu part doesn't work in full screen when when it comes to gothic 4 so I'm either gonna try to maybe google or you know f try to fix or download patches of any kind but for now I'm not gonna do that because I'm tired and sick and tired of every single gothic game that need patches every single gothic game that need fixes and whatnot because Joe Wood Productions is too fucking lazy to implement them automatically as let's say updates you know sure some people will say well it's a lot more work than just taking those files and there you go you know I understand that but at least make it known either in your game or whatever on you know the information screen of Steam that you have to need to install patches or whatever in order to make it work Gothic 1 needed patches to make it work on Steam Gothic 2 needed it, Gothic 3 needed it and again Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods is you know very much hated throughout by basically any Gothic then technically speaking and therefore not many people will touch that game because it's just too shitty to work with Gothic 4 same disaster it's too shitty to work with but I could be wrong you know I could be wrong but uh, I'm talking uh, too much right now let's just continue I'm not gonna do Gothic 4 for quite some time that is for sure because of the fact that I'm not in the mood to get things fixed so I'm gonna go to you know after I beat this playthrough I will go to Forsaken Gods beat Adonis and Beliar and that's about it for the Gothic series for now for now you know at some point yeah sure I will beat Gothic for Arcania but you know it's not really that I'm looking forward to playing it just like Forsaken Gods because it's just one giant ass disaster but without you know enough chatter let's continue otherwise I am going to be busy with only talking for about 15 minutes but I wanted to let you guys know that for the time being Gothic 4 will not come to my channel not because I don't want to record it but because I'm not in the mood at all at the moment to search for fixes to search for patches to make the things runnable and you know do it every single freaking time so yeah without further ado guys let's just continue get Ben Sala done and then now uh, we're gonna go to the temple get that done and then we're gonna go to Pakaresh so you know due to this chatting of nearly 15 minutes could be that we're gonna need a part three but in the end it's all about getting every area done ASAP so sorry for all the chattering guys but uh, let's continue why have you come to this wretched place? How are things? Most of the city's fighters have fallen, and the rest of them up and fled, cowards of men. What about you? I come from Ben Arai. Once we learned what was going on here, we hurried to help. And what will you do next? There have been enough dead already. I will not risk my people's lives for an attack. We will protect this city for as long as we can. That is our job. What can I do to help? I sent a few men up the mountain. They never came back. Go and see whether any of them are still alive. They raided tunnels as well. The slaves never stood a chance. You had better prepare well so that you will stand a chance. Let me know if there is anything else I can show you. Would you teach me how to fight? You aren't ready for that. You don't have the necessary experience. Okay, so I have to get this one to get that one and then for... Uh, wait, what? Beasts? What beasts? But no problem, we'll get that done. I really need to uh, change my stuff to do a wielded combat, but therefore I need it. How many levels? Would you I need stronger swordsman, which is one level. And... Learning how to fight with two handed with two one handed weapons requires another fifteen, so I need about three levels in order to get those. But in the end, 
it's all about individual unique builds you know my servant of Adenos is different build than my servant of Enos and Beliar and the uh, vice versa you know every playthrough has its own combat close combat capabilities long range combat capabilities as well as magical capabilities all three are different only the hardcore run <coughs> which will be a live stream only will have if possible you know if possible it is possible without alternative balance but i'm not quite sure if it's going to be with but majority speaking my hardcore run will get all powerful enors Adnos and Baliar spells except for those that you need to join a side for so let's say you know in order to get fire rain you need to choose the side of Enos if you want to have um, I think it was the army of darkness you will need to choose the side of Baliar of course those cannot be done since the hardcore run will end with Adenos when it comes to you know going to the mountains with Zardas but um only the hardcore run will have basically full build in everything aside from the little ones that cannot be learned unless you join a, a certain side you know so Enos is purely dedicated to Enos Adenos is purely dedicated to Adenos and Baliar is purely dedicated to Baliar but the hardcore run is going to be a power of all three so uh, yeah let's continue I'm gonna have a look at the tunnels there are two tunnels in the mountain. One of them is directly behind the city. The other one is further east. Take care of yourself. I'm going to take care of that mountain. Be careful, son of boldness, and look out for my scouts. So we pay our tribute to Zubin for years, and then what? A few guys who think they are all so smart open up the Great Temple. They open the Great Temple and bring down the wrath of Beliar on all of us. Now I get to pay tribute for the rest of my life to make up for this disaster. Excuse me for being so upset, son of pluckiness, but I find this matter truly distressing. So I noticed. Can I trade with you? <sighs> Why not? Before we die, we can at least take care of some business. What exactly happened here? It was Bazir. That son of a thief opened the temple. Is that all? He had five keys. Beliar knows where he dug them up. He wanted the divine artifact and promised treasures to his men. Their eyes were sparkling with greed. But Bazir betrayed them all in the end. Tell me more about Bazir. He's paying a high price for the divine artifact. All those who entered the temple are dead. But his business is not finished yet. Beliar is furious. You mean... Yes, Bazir deserves to die. Now you can find Bazir in Montara. He's the uh, boga that got robbed by the rebels. Which is the, you know, ring of Adenos that... The rebels sent to Gotha with Gorn, but now the demon has it in Gotha. So uh, don't get confused if you're here and you want that divine artifact from the temple. It is the one that the rebels have. How can I help? Will you listen to that? He fights his way through to us and asks how he can help. That is the bravery of a man who fears no peril. It is a true hero speaking. Never mind. Get to the point. I implore you. Save my city. Slay the undead. Do whatever it takes to lift this curse from us. All right. And go talk to Daro. I am sure he will be able to tell you more. But there is another important issue. A business deal that was entrusted to me. Tell me about this deal. We got ten ore blanks. A delivery from the orcs. They were destined for Ishtar, but they have been stolen. But I know who the thief is. And I want him to be punished for his nefarious deed. Let him die of thirst under Enos's scorching curse. Let the vultures feast on his eyes. Yeah, yeah, I get the point. I'll see to it. Who is he? Sugat, one of our own people. The traitor. May Beliar's furious wrath overtake him. Can you tell me Sugat's whereabouts? 
He left the city in the direction of Binarai, and he was not alone. Not alone? There was another fellow with him, but I could not make out who he was. But when you find him, make him pay for this crime as well. First of all, I need to find him. What about the ore blanks? If you find them, pick them up. Keep them safe and take them to Ishtar. Alright, I'll do my part. Looks like I have no choice. Let the hunting begin of the undead. I will stop that beast. Biliar is waiting for you. No! Oh! Ah! You showed him who's boss. Yeah. Beliar is waiting for you. No! Let's go, skeleton. Yeah, making me dirt. Another one of those annoying beasts. <laughs> 
Yeah, I really need meat. You showed him who's boss. May the vultures feast on you. I do not forget the crate. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, make it a little feast. Now, what's my XP, man? God damn you. And that mine has been cleared. Why did my inventory close? I don't like using resurrection, but I'm not in the mood to redo everything. <laughs> May 
face was to Filthy be beast. Towards that, or most likely die again. Fucking bullshit, you know. holy shit. You know, the uh, sensitivity is just way too much. I, I press one small inch, you know, and it instantly goes centimeters. Die already. Sometimes I hate gaming mouses because the DPI is way too sensitive. You know, sure I could put it lower, but then it's way too fucking slow. One second guys, I'm really getting frustrated with this fucking mouse. Fucking small desk. I really need to fucking upgrade this shit, but therefore I need to make fucking money out of this bullshit. Sometimes, you know, it's really frustrating to do YouTube, especially if you're not getting paid. But I'm gonna bite through it, because I have to.
sometimes I call this game and fucking BS just literally BS what's well, up game that uh, it's the BS it's actually my mouse because of the fact that one small inch is instantly a full centimeter with the fucking mouse I literally have to keep my mouth still, otherwise I will... See? I did it again. One small inch. And instantly bypass all the requirements. It's really getting frustrating, you know, to keep that kind of steady fucking arm with a mouse that is so fucking weak. I'm getting a bit frustrated with these uh, gothic games, I really had a bit about enough of them. But like I said, I'm gonna bite right through it because I have to. Because in the end, it's not about what I want, it's about it's creating many content as I possibly can. Indeed, to get fucking paid, because uh, that is indeed what I'm doing this for. And it sounds cruel to say it, but it's the truth. And we cannot deny the truth. Look at how many fucking zombies there are. I am getting a fucking lazy hand because of the fact that this... What should I call it? MIDI desk is just fucking terrible. There's no way I can put my hand precisely without fucking intervening with any other messy fucking bullshit that lies around here. Two fucking screens on one short table is not a smart idea either. But I need the secondary fucking screen. One second guys, I'm really getting fucking frustrated with this fucking vest or whatever the fuck it is. Fucking annoying to have a fucking mouse this fucking sensitive, you know, I can downgrade it, but look. One degree higher, and it's like this. It's, it's just madness, I really need to get some new shit for this PC, because I'm done with the current shit. Well, don't mind me guys, I'm just raging in myself. Sometimes mouses like these are just way too sensitive and then you're like, okay, let's uh, put it one degree lower and then it's way too fucking slow and then you're like, okay, well, then we have to go one back up and deal with it, but 
one fucking millimeter of movement is instantly a centimeter in the game. It's freaking annoying. As well as the fact that this is the third run that I'm doing, so I'm basically, I'm really, really done with Gothic 3. I'm not really in the mood to play Forsaken Gods on all three parts, but in the end I will, of course, because I have to. Not because I have to, to have to, but because I have to, because of the content. In the end, I want as many as I games as I could possibly get on my channel. Whether they're shitty ass fucking games, or whether they're golden A, triple A games, doesn't really matter. But, uh, eventually, every game on this globe, at least as long as I live, will be uploaded to uh, YouTube at some point. Whether they get views or not is aside from the point, and of course I first go for the games that I know, so I can uh, beat them as quickly as possible. I really need to clean my mouse mat as well. It's really a fucking disaster. Yeah, I'm gonna go into uh, break mode in a bit because I'm really, really starting to get frustrated. I really need to clean my fucking room. I really need to clean the fucking desk, but therefore I need to shut down my entire PC. And I'm not in the mood to do that because otherwise I am gonna be bored as fuck. But man, oh man, I need to clean this mouse mat because I think it's part of the issue. Because even if I don't move my mouse, even an inch, it still moves. Look, not, not a single method changed and yet I miss. The mechanics of this game, of any gothic game for that matter, especially gothic 3, Forsaken Gods, gothic 4 are just a disgrace to these series. And if you disagree with that, well, that's your opinion, you know, that's your freedom to disagree with it, but man, oh man, Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods is a piece of shit, and Gothic 4 is not as bad as Forsaken Gods, not in the slightest, God, Forsaken Gods is by far the worst of its entire series, together with Fall of Satirith. But it's not like I would say that Gothic 4 is oh so generously good, because it isn't. It's one of the worst gothic games in history, aside from Forsaken Gods, which is the worst, together with Fall of Satyrith, which are supposed to be expansions, but they're not expansions, they're standalone expansions. And it's getting quite frustrating, you know. Especially if you do three parts. Beating the game once is easy, you know. Even without raging, it's gonna be easy peasy, but beating it three times with three different builds, three different capability settings up, you know, it's really, really frustrating. But of course, you know, there will be people that say, you know, you don't have to do this, but at some point I do. Whether it's, uh, and especially when it comes to Gothic, I'd rather have it done sooner or later, because the best Gothic games I already have behind me. Gothic 1 and Gothic 2. Gothic 3 is good, you know. Uh, but it could have been better if they didn't cut all the content, bug the shit out of the game. As well as the fact if they didn't release the Gothic Forsaken Gods disaster as a standalone expansion, Gothic 3 would have been a lot better, and Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods would have been a lot better if they merged it together, you know, because Forsaken, let's face it, Forsaken God is indeed the missing content from Gothic 3, however, it is not an expansion as they proclaim that it is, because if it is an expansion, where do you begin? If you press new game, that's right, with the original title of which the game is supposed to be an expansion, in this case, Forsaken Gods, so let's say, you know, if I pray, press new game in Forsaken Gods and it is a 
you know, expansion of Gothic 3, then the beginning should be Gothic 3. But of course this is not the case, because of the fact that Forsaken Gods is a standalone expansion of its own, which is not an expansion, but a disaster of a game. And, you know, the problem is that it's uh, the faster I beat it this path, the final path of Gothic 3, the faster I am left with the shitty parts of the game of its series, basically, which is Forsaken Gods, Gothic uh, 4, and Gothic 4 fo Fall of Satirith. And I'm really, really not fo looking forward to play those shitty ass games. Because that's plain and simple what they are. They're shitty, poorly written, and most definitely not worth the purchase. So if you're a, a Gothic fan, and you are like, hmm, should I play Forsaken Gods? No, don't. It will destroy the entire series. If you really want to see it badly, if you really want to see why it destroys the series, then go to my channel and check out the Forsaken Gods playthrough of Enos, which is no commentary. The other two will also come. But I highly recommend that you don't play it because of the fact that it hurts the series in a whole lot and it is one of the reasons why I am getting frustrated even in Gothic 3. You know, because of the Forsaken Gods, it, it's just terrible. It, it, plain and simple, Goth Gothic 3 is decent. It is uh, by far not good. By far not. And it's decent. You know, it's not bad either, but it's not good when it comes to gameplay wise. But it's decent. You know, it is quite decent compared to gothic 1 and 2 it's shit but compared to forsaken gods uh, gothic 4 and fall of satirith it's gold you know but that's not easy to accomplish that's not hard to accomplish when you look at forsaken gods or when you look at uh, fall of satirith but anyways guys we have cleared uh, that area even though despite all the frustration with all the missing and the minimum aiming requirement that it requires you know shitty ass gaming mouse it's too fucking sensitive one inch of movement is instantly a whole you know centimeter in game but uh at some point i will get really used to it but you could say that i'm not, not really looking forward to uh play the playthrough of animals or the playthrough of belly if seeking gods and that's why i'm a bit how should I say, mm, preventing myself a bit from beating the game ASAP, but, uh, you know, at the, at at some point, even Gothic 4 will be played. However, on the current moment, just like I said earlier in this episode, I think it was in the first 15 minutes, something like that, of this recording. Uh, for the time being, Gothic 4 Fall of Satirith and Gothic 4 itself will not be recorded. Not because I don't want to, but because of the fact that I'm not going to play a game in windowed mode just to make the fucking mouse work in the menu. And since I do need my dual screens in order to make sure that OBS is recording because it doesn't always respond when I press the record button, um... I cannot play a Gothic 4 unless I shut down either my second screen or, you know, just plainly readjust it, especially for Arcadia, to my secondary screen, which is, has a far different resolution than my main screen. It has a whole lot of things that I have to refix when it comes to OBS, you know, but for the time being, I'm literally not in the mood to search for fixes, to find fixes, to fix things in order to make Gothic 4 Arcania work on full screen. Uh, included with the uh, whole menu bullshit, you know, but that's because I'm getting tired of Joe Wood's lack of respect if you will because every game they release it is the community that has to fix 
their shit because they don't do it and some people will say well that's because it's gonna be expensive if they want to you know make um, I don't know certain updates and what have you yeah it certainly is expensive if you pay people too fucking much a month you know but uh the patches are already on on, on Google especially when it comes to Gothic 1 and Gothic 2 yet they refuse to fix Gothic 1 and Gothic 2 to make it fixable for everyone on where to find those patches, where to find the things that you need in order to make Gothic 1 or 2 work on Steam. Gothic 3 has issues by itself and therefore you need to again download a community patch because of the fact that Joe Productions is lazy as fuck to get it done, to fix it themselves. Forsaken Gods is one giant disaster, and I heard, I heard at any rate, well, heard is a strong word, I read that due to Gothic, uh, Gothic 3 Forsaken God enhanced editions, lots of portions have been, been removed due to bugs and what have you, which is again a total of disaster because of the fact that I couldn't, you know, my character when it comes to Forsaken Gods, my playthrough of Venus was level 40. You start at level 10 with skills that your character 9 out of 10 don't even need, especially if you play like me in a specific way of building, you know. But in Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods, you start at level 10, which is the first issue that I have. Especially due to the fact that your learning points are pre-invented into Beliar spells, animal spells, two-handed weapons, one-handed weapons, all those kind of bullshit that your character do not need. As well as the fact that I beat it Goth Three Forsaken Gods, my character was about level 40. And I estimate Lee now I have summoned about 350 learning points when it comes to Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods in order to get the perfect stats. Um, I can show it with this one. Um, I need still need improved robes, mana regeneration, fire mage, forge all weapons. This one is removed. And improved armor. As well as some Eno spells. Um, fire rain is the only one that I need. But due to the lack of finding trainers for these capabilities, now I know where to find that one, but for that one I need that one, and you know, you know how it goes. But um, you know, lots of quests have been removed, has been cut it out due to bugs, incompleted, or what have you, and every single game I see the same thing over and over and over and over again, and it's really starting to piss me off. And that's what one of the reasons why I'm looking a bit against at some point purchasing Elix and playing Elix because I fear that they did the same BS all over again, gutting content, never updating the shit, never fix their issues, they're just there to grab the money. Now I hope I'm wrong when I'm gonna play Elix, you know I can play it by downloading it or whatever but I'm not gonna do that due to the achievements so I'm gonna wait till I purchase the game but in the end no matter what game I play whether it's Gothic 1 whether it's Gothic 2 whether it's Risen it doesn't really matter in the end I will also make reviews on Steam on YouTube uh, probably on YouTube on a different account I'm not quite sure yet whether I should or should not do it on the same account but uh, I'm gonna make reviews where I'm gonna just say how it is, you know, I'm gonna give my honest opinion about every single game, about its flaws, about its weaknesses, about its strengths, and I'm gonna grade, uh, by those opinions, gonna grade a certain game on its own standalone position, as well as, as a series as a whole, and if I'm gonna, you know, if I think about it, because of Forsaken Gods and because of Gothic 4 and Fall of Satyrif, the Gothic series would instead go from, you know, instead being a 7 or an 8 out of 10, it will be like 4 or a 5 out of 10, because of those three titles. But anyways, I'm talking way too much again. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching, and if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified on whenever I upload videos. At the moment it's 3, but I'm thinking about reducing it to 2, so I can work a bit more on my timestamps, which I have not been doing. 
and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next part after taking a short break because I'm you know I really need to have a break from this um, so I'm gonna take a short break maybe continue tomorrow but um, in the next part we're gonna finish the second tunnel as well as the undead that's walking around near it their makeups and uh, then we're gonna go to a small cave over there to find some stolen goods and the temple which uh, is has been opened is full of undead bloody bloody blah, blah, blah you know and then we're gonna go to the next episode to go to Bakaresh now in the end despite whether I rage or not despite whether I like or dislike a game at some point every game will be played the only thing that a game has to have is beginning and an end and no bullshit games like World of Warcraft or Minecraft for that matter because I do not like Minecraft that also includes for Terraria maybe I will upload them at some point but I'm not gonna waste money on purchasing them especially if I'm not gonna make money out of YouTube and in the end you know I'm not gonna lie I'm doing YouTube to earn money but my purposes will be far more greater than just for my mere own profit because it's time that we change things it's time that YouTube has been breaking well it's been broken open for at least the upcoming generations so that we have more jobs we have more opportunities to get ahead in life and uh, at the moment I'm earning zero out of this um, according to my YouTube analytics and my blade social uh, social blade status I earn estimately about six dollars a year which is false I earn literally nothing until I get a thousand subs as well as uh, four thousand hours watched a year which is nearly impossible aside from the fact I have lots of videos but at some point I do want to make money out of this and I'm not talking about PewDiePie money you know like two three million a year through YouTube fuck that shit I don't need two three million a year the max that I want to have is max 5k a month max which is an estimately about nearly a year uh, one mil a year technically speaking it's a lot less it's about nearly a bit over half a million a year but um you know it, it sounds a lot and it is a lot but um when it comes to youtube there are certain people that earn way too much and it's time that youtube makes someone big whether it's me or any other person that wants to use their wealth that wants to use their following base in order to break YouTube open for others because that is what I'm gonna do and even if it's gonna never gonna happen that I'm gonna make money out of this I'm gonna keep going I'm already I've already uploaded about a thousand videos and I'm not even done by a long shot I still have a lot of videos to go a lot of games to beat and uh, it's not a question of will I make money out of this it's a question of when but that's my personal view you know I personally believe that there is a community for every single gamer for every single youtuber for every single vlogger for every single opportunity that you can get there is a community for you available the only thing that stands in your way is for those community to find you in order to support you but anyways thank you guys for watching subscribe to my channel hit the like button and i hope to see you guys in the next part where i'm gonna talk less and more action because uh i think majority speaking nearly majority speaking i've been blabbing about certain cap uh, you know certain things like seeking gods and what have you gothic four plans blah 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 but uh in the next part I will promise that I'm gonna rush things because I still have quite a bit to do I need to go to the tunnel get a second supply as well as one of the slaves 
who is strangely enough still alive. I have to go to the temple and I have to go to a small cave over there which is inhabited by a couple of nomads. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna take a, a bit of break. Um, I think for the rest of the day and uh, I will continue more tomorrow or maybe even in a bit once I uh, cool down a bit but uh, at some point all of these videos will come to YouTube and I hope you will enjoy any one of them despite me raging despite me you know m making use of curse words and what have you because in the end I don't give a slightest shit about what people think about me using a foul language or you know people just don't have to get butt hurt that easy um but um yeah thank you guys for watching uh, and if you do like what you see subscribe to my channel hit the like button if you want to see the playthrough of Enos or the playthrough of Adenos you can find both on my channel already um Adenos is currently at about still episode 21 when I'm nearly done with 21 when it comes to time stamping so I think I will continue a bit with the time stamping but uh, I haven't been doing much of time stamping lately and that's going to change because uh, it's fun to have 1000 videos on your YouTube channel but it is an entire another if you have all of them time stamped now all of them will be a bit exaggerated but at least the first playthroughs of certain games has to be done and if the first playthroughs are done I will do the second playthroughs of each game the third playthroughs of each game in the end every single video will have timestamps and yes that will make me less money in the end but who gives a shit because I certainly do not if I manage to get let's say I don't know a thousand a month out of this, two thousand a month, even five hundred a month out of this, I will be a happy man because of the fact that if I can keep doing this as a living, then at least it's going to motivate me to, you know, keep going because at the moment I'm slowly but efficiently losing my, um, my, mm, I don't know how to put it, but I'm losing interest in doing YouTube at the moment because of the fact that I am playing shitty ass games so I'm also gonna look at different games I'm also gonna redo by the way Risen 2 um, not quite sure whether I'm gonna continue or redo but it's been a very long time since I continue playing Risen 2 and that one is already started on my YouTube some time ago now so I'll also continue with that but in the end every video that I will upload will be publicly shown to you guys with or without timestamp but in the end always with at some point but these things don't make themselves sadly but true but uh, I can certainly use some amount of motivation and a good motivation would be to get monthly paid out of this you know I'm not saying that it is a must but it would certainly help motivating me biting through the sore apples of shitty ass games like Forsaken Gods, Gothic 4 and Gothic 4 Fall of Satirith. So if you want those, subscribe to my channel and uh, view my uh, videos to your heart's content whether you use the timestamps or not. And I hope to see you guys in the next part where I'm gonna talk less and more action. Thank you guys for watching and PEACE!